Welcome everybody on YouTube and also here in chat. We got an, another deck to play here, which is going to be Jeskai taking turns. So we played this deck before and had a whole lot of, of fun with it. Basically what we're trying to do is we're going to try to just get to the point of the game where because of Karn's Temporal Sundering and most notably Nexus of Fate, we're going to take every single turn the rest of the game. <laughs> Once we get to that that point, we can you know we'll win the game with Karn, Jaya, Teferi somehow. Uh, usually, may opponents may concede and stuff, but uh, so it's it's pretty it's a pretty unique deck and it's pretty fun to just try to stay alive for long enough to be able to take all the turns. Hey, Intellibeam and Ziddy Waffle with the sub sub number seven on the day. Thank you so much. All right, so one change. The I only changed one. I only made one slight change since the last time we played this deck, and that was I took out the lava coils. We had three lava coils in the main and one in the sideboard, and replaced them with seal away. I think just kind of noticing how our weakness to a Danto Vanguard. Um, I think seal away may be a little better for us uh, because of that. And you know, like we're not we're not really putting up much defense, so opponents need to attack us, and so. Whenever they attack us, we'll be able to seal away their creatures. So, so that's the one very small change we made there. I'm the so you don't need to manually update the commands. Oh, okay, sweet, good to know. All right, so let's go ahead and get to the games. Nothing. Does anybody know where? Does anybody have the announcement of? I just realized. I just realized thinking about this. So on the seventeenth, I'm planning on streaming for twelve hours straight with Ravnica Allegiance sealed, going eleven to eleven. Yeah, you know, may do some drafts also. We'll we'll see. Playing some sealed first to kind of get comfortable with the format. But anyway, um, does anybody have the announcement of when it actually becomes live? Because I just realized maybe it's not live yet at 11 a.m. and I may be starting my stream too early. Um, does anybody have like that announcement for Ravnica Legions com coming to Arena? Drafts don't come till the 18th. Really? That's kind of weird that they would just wait a day. Doesn't make a lot of sense. But it, I know that like the 5,000 gold drafts don't come until the beginning of February. But I really thought that the other drafts started right away. That the, the 1,500 gem drafts started right away. Pre-release is the 25th in paper, yes. Hmm. Not keeping Carnage Siren, so they, they certainly need mana. Alright, I'm going to have to Google search this. If it Has anybody else done a Google search to be able to find that announcement? So I'm asking y'all first before I just start Google searching while I'm streaming. Panavia! Sub number 8. Thanks, Panavia. Y'all are awesome. All right, Karn. Start finding us some cards. Evil smooth. I'll make use of that later. <laughs> Kim broke a drumstick. Nice. All right. So this mentions it here. How did no one knows the wilds like I yeah. do? Please stop. Yeah, you're right. It does say 
Traditional draft is until the 18th. Sealed is until the 17th. I don't know. It's weird. Let me go. Let me go over to this. All right, where are we at? So they have a Vivian in play. How convenient! An excellent choice. How do they not just have, like, release things about it? Okay, so seal this 17th. And it doesn't say, like, what time on the 17th, does it? Uh, this doesn't come into play untapped. That comes into play untapped, though. Almost messed up there. To set the world off. out with the trash, in with the firebolts. What was the other card? Another card? Balance comes. Yeah. It does doesn't say what time, does it? Right, I'm not really finding much. Wizards websites are just so pathetic. Why does that have to be so bad? Like, why can't we just find out, like, what infor like what time on the 17th it would start? My retribution will be How do we deal with planeswalkers? Only to fairy? Yeah. Yeah, just a fairy. Usually we can just kind of start taking all the turns, um, and it's not so bad. All right, so what are we doing here? We have the choices we make reveal who we are. So Jaya can add three red mana, so then we can use the three red mana and the two white to cast Cleansing Nova, and then we'd have four extra mana. Um, so not enough. Not, we're one short of playing Teferi this. also. Uh, still definitely doing this, though. And getting the Sacred Foundry. Because I, I want to be able to play Search for Iskanta. We wouldn't be able to play Search for Iskanta unless we added the three mana. Because um, otherwise we'd had five for Cleansing Nova and then been one short for Search for Iskanta. So I think that's worth it. We haven't found a single extra card thing yet. And none of those eight yet. Um, you know, we're... <laughs> through 22 cards. Get that out of here. Okay, that's that's good for us. We don't have to worry about Vivian ultimating too much now. All right, so it says there, traditional draft will be starting January 18th at 8 a.m. Pacific. It does not say the time for sealed, though. I would assume sealed would also be 8 a.m. Pacific. All right, three, four, five, six. All right, let's Karn. Oh, yeah, Karn Temporal Sundering also answers Planeswalkers, by the way, for that question about that. Um, all right, let's discard say requires quickness of mind. Land, Karn, Deafening Clarion. And play Temporal Sundering, Bounce, Vivian. Uh, no, I don't really play Magic Online anymore. Good choice. I don't know. No, I don't know if if any of the masterpiece Planeswalkers from Ravnica Allegiance will be on Arena. I don't know if any will be. Um. One, two, three, four, five.
We need to move quickly. Oh, this is going to be good. I'll just take both. We'll just hit a land drop also. Okay. I think next, starting next turn, we should be able to take all the rest of the turns in the game. Okay. And our opponent concedes. Yeah, like they would have, because like the Karn was going to be able to get the, the next of Fate that was exiled. We had the Temporal Sundering on top. I think the game was over. Okay, we're playing against Golgari. Um... Urza's Ruinous Blast is amazing in this matchup, if we can pull it off. We don't need expansion. That card comes out. I think I like Seal Aways. So, I need to put another card in, right? We just took out expansion out. Do I want to negate for Contempt? Do I want Seal Away? Or do I want Blast? I kind of want Seal Away. Yeah, I think Blast I think Blast needs to leave the sideboard now, considering that we have Seal Aways in our deck. So I think I think we need to take this Blast out of the sideboard. It's still in my sideboard, but this is the matchup for this, but it's not it's definitely not good with Seal Away. I think I need to replace this in the sideboard now. Yeah, I I would be I'd be kind of surprised if those masterpieces were on arena, honestly. Yeah, and definitely not the non-standard ones have a zero percent chance of being on arena, but even the standard ones, um, I don't believe will be on arena. But they may be. I would put it at like twenty-five percent chance that they are. amazing though that we can't actually find the time that Ravnica Allegiance sealed events will be starting on the 17th. It's pretty amazing that they just don't have any information about that anywhere on the internet. Like how is that even possible? can't find it anywhere. Yeah, that's just how the wizards websites are. Like they've they're just so bad. And it's it doesn't make any sense why they're so bad. No, that wasn't the orcs department, no. When is the eSports stuff starting? Isn't that already going on right now? Isn't that why there's... Um... A lot of the, the players from their pro league that are streaming now. That's like, that's the money they're putting into that, right? Hmm. Do need to find planeswalkers. I also need lands.
we won the previous game pretty easily. Played a, a turn four Karn, turn five Jaya, and those Planeswalkers never left the battlefield. Beasts are much more reliable than humans. That can't help you now. Oh, that was my, my biggest worry is, you know, we kept the planes last turn because we need another white mana source. Um, Come to me. But then we had another one on top of the Clifftop Retreat. Probably should have started digging towards the Planeswalker a little faster. But then keeping the last seal away in Planes. I want to get some more value out of a Deafening Clarion here, but I'm just going to be casting no the seal away now. The wilds like I do. Well, we don't have any creatures for that Chupacabra to kill. That's good news. Yeah, I mean, that wasn't Twitch either. That was the company Rivals. That did that. That wasn't Wizards or Twitch. That's why it's called the Twitch ri Twitch Rivals Tournament. All right, Scavenger, we can handle that too with this Clarion. Handle both of these. Um, and we'll go ahead and take another turn first. It's just good to kind of take the extra turn and put the next of fate back in the library. That's a good draw. I am her Achilles' choice. That's a good, good draw, and now we get to clear out a couple. Even like that's that's actually a good hit for. Um, the Karn also, how we just hit two lands there, because I think there's a good chance that they have Rass's Contempt that's going to take out the Karn. And even if they have Rass's Contempt that takes out the Karn, we just clear two lands out of our, like, off of our deck. We didn't, we didn't, like, exile, you know, like, there's not, like, some important card, like a Teferi or something like that with this silver counter on it that we wouldn't have access to if the Karn gets exiled. Um... So, like, that's not so bad for us. Hey, Brick Owl. How did playing Naya Ramp do during the series? Um, I don't... We, I think we've played a Naya Ramp deck here before, but I don't really remember how it did. No one said restoration was painless. Okay, let's start looking. I will keep those. I, will defend. Well, I guess the other Karn is just going to get hit by this Karn. Hopefully they don't have another Contempt, though. And they can only attack the Karn for... I guess if they, if they attack the Karn for five, hmm, I can't, uh, I could the minus right away, I suppose. My shield. Nah, we'd tick up, then minus. Yeah. All right, we need to find a Cleansing Nova. I 
if we get very, very fortunate, we could potentially take the rest of the turns in the game here. Potentially. We have to get very fortunate, though. But we're not in a terrible spot. <laughs> this is a really good song. Queen was just so good. Oh, wow, they're just attacking us? Oh, that is so good for us. They're just attacking us. I guess they don't care about Karn as much. Um. Are you certain of your decision? <laughs> Teferi or Nexus of Fate? Which one do you want to give us? Yeah. Figure Teferi. Okay, we have one, two, three, four, five. Let's see. Five. Ugh. Kind of a little bit of mana off here. Alright, so Temporal Sundering. Take another turn. Bounce. Midnight Reaper. Hmm. I think I'm supposed to just minus one in Nexus of Fate. Nothing is ever truly lost. Just to get the Nexus of Fate going again. Alright, pick up. We make reveal who we are. <laughs> yeah, no, no, no worries, Salvador. I can respect that. Take an extra turn, bounce the Vivian. Oh uh, no, I should have waited on the next of fate for Teferi. Yeah, one, two, three, four. Alright, so we're at four, five. No, we're at, we're good, right? So we can go grab. Return. Go grab the temporal sundering. We can play this and temporal sundering, right? Yeah. Okay, we're good. Let's slow this. Let's skip to the good part. Take an extra turn. Bounce. I don't even need to bounce anything. Could bounce like the seal away. That's a good one. Tick up. A curious choice. <laughs> yeah, we get ult Karn. <laughs> Hold that thought. Hmm. Well, no, no more turns. We have used too many Sunderings and not enough Nexus of Fates. So we'll just destroy the creatures. And pass. Yeah, I'll just pass. I could honestly see like playing another Karn and like ticking up again and stuff like that. That's probably not worth it though. Because then if our other Karn gets exiled. Yeah, next yeah, next turn we can minus. Or we could even just play the Karn and minus and got double Clarion. So we know they have Vivian, Vivian, Midnight Reaper. And whatever card they just drew. Like the Vivian can get Midnight Reaper. Okay, so they're just going Carny Carnage Tyrant. So I may need a double Clarion here. No time for a break. Alright, yep. Let's go double Clarion. What was lost is now returned. A 
The problem's gonna be next turn. In fact, I'm gonna play New Karn. I have faced worse than the likes of Yeah, I think New Karn and starting to dig for, towards more Nexus of Fates is certainly worth it. And there we go. Alright. They packed it in because they they didn't have an answer to this Karn. They would give us the discovery. Alright, wanna know. No, we saw one Nexus, or maybe even two. I think we might have seen two Nexuses that game. We definitely saw one. Yeah, we, did, we saw two. We saw two Nexuses, but, you know, we, we cast them earlier and put them back in the deck. Hey, Skyper. Yeah, there we go. That's what our deck is doing. Making people concede. Alright, we could use a basic or a shock land. Something that will be an untapped mana source. Yeah, I certainly like it a whole lot more than Turbo Fog myself. Alright, we're facing the red deck. This one will be a little tough. Especially for how slow our hand is. Like, we could really use an untapped source here so we can start playing our spells on turn two. Ugh. Rough. Do you think crafting Teferi is good at the moment with the Legions coming in? I mean, yeah. I mean, I think Teferi is going to be a big part of the format. Um, you know, you may just want to wait just kind of in general. Um, if, you know, if you prefer to wait. Uh, nothing wrong with that. Hmm. This one's looking very grim. Drawing all of our planeswalkers. Yeah, I think Wilderness Reclamation is going to be powerful and standard. Yep. All right, so we got another seal away. We got all these angels to bring in here. And I like negates also to just negate counter to negate burn spells. But we'll see that that may be kind of bringing in too many things. Um, I'll take cleansing Nova out. It's pretty expensive. I'm trimming a search for his Kanta. And maybe we need to take out Jaya also because we have all these other fours and fives in. Um, I think we have to trim two Sundering. Yeah, I guess we have to trim, take out Jaya just to kind of keep our curve kind of lower. And then uh, maybe I just don't have room for all these negates. Could play, could trim another Search for Iskanta. Really don't want to draw a second. I'll trim another search for his Kanta, play a negate, two negates. Yeah, fourth Clarion wouldn't be so bad here. This Ruinous Blast needs to leave the sideboard, so that, that could be fourth Clarion. Don't need Nexus at all? Nah. I think I still want Nexus. In fact, I probably just want these Sunderings over Negates. All right, there we go. Yeah, we'll just let's keep in our extra turn stuff. Like that's what that's how our deck's pretty powerful. Um, is by starting to take all the the turns in the game. And Dawnbringer sh should lie, especially Dawnbringer, real good with extra turns, where we can gain that life, take another turn. Hmm. Just tap lands again, but we're on the play this time. Do I pay two life to discovery this turn? 
Or do I wait? I think I just wait. Two life can be very valuable. Like, they're going to try to grind us out with things like Experimental Frenzy. And if they don't get any, if they don't get any turns to do that, it'll be hard for them to do that. All right, discovery. All right, we got five lands already, so we'll ditch that. Yeah. Yeah, Demir Control is the best control deck in Control Mirrors because you get access to counter magic and discard spells. So that's just been that's just been the case basically forever. <laughs> I wish this Clarion would give Lyra a double life link, but doesn't doesn't quite work like that. Got her snippers. Yeah, Thought Erasure is just so strong against everybody. Thought Erasure is a really, really good card. All right, let's go. Let's go to Fairy. Yeah, I'm gonna go to Fairy Tuck. I won't hide from the. No, I should. I have Seal China. Away. I should have gone Tick Up because I have Seal Away just to take it. Ah. Uh. I'm just not used to playing Seal Away. I'm so used to playing Lava Coil, Sorcery Speed. Yeah, like that's just bad. I definitely should have ticked up. Yeah. That didn't pan out. Yeah, that that should have been been a tick up for sure. That's all right. We still got this game pretty easily. So they get to draw Rekindling Phoenix plus plus two other cards. And they are dead. Doesn't really matter what like those two cards would have to be like fight with fire, fight with fire. It had to be double fight with fire for them not to be dead. He did cast risk risk factor first. They did, Cywin. Yeah, like, the risk factor was in their graveyard already. Um, but then, yeah, they couldn't cast it again because of Shalai also, second time. Yeah, maybe we put in negates for a couple Karns. All right, putting in three negates for two Karns and and search. This is a keep. We got good mana and we got discovery on turn two. Um, you know, we're, we're cer certainly going to be searching for Deafening Clarion. Um, Celoy wouldn't be so bad either. But I don't think this is a mulligan. So yeah, let's look for, look for Clarion.
All right, seal away is good. And do we want? So I'm gonna keep the seal away. Do I want to keep the Teferi? Well, it's already having Karn and Dawnbringer. I don't think we need Teferi also. So let's let's go ahead and ditch that. Yeah, not Teferi there. Oh, gutter snipes a problem. Gutter snipes a problem. I don't have a good answer to it. Just go and attack. Attack first. Take this thing. So we're down to nine. Ugh. Ugh. Down to seven. All right. So you know we're making a token with Karn. Be able to help block these pyromancers. Dang. Well, we're going down to three. Being on the player on the draw is just such a big difference with these games. It's just such a big difference. I mean, I gotta hope they don't get three. They have three cards, and they don't get three points of burn and three cards. And that's my only hope. I mean, it's certainly Lyra. I'm certainly playing Lyra, but I don't think I don't think the minus does anything. I don't think it's necessary. I mean, it does something, but I think it's. It's better for us to plus and look for extra turn spells. Basically, I think I think we need them to whiff on three, these three draw steps. And then we start taking extra turns kind of thing. Okay. Shock would not be lethal. If they attack with both their creatures and I block one and they shock the thing that I block, they're... I, they're all, I'm only taking two still. Shock wouldn't be lethal. Yeah, like that's that's certainly a game where we're on the play, we win. We're on the draw, we don't win, kind of thing. The second game that we won was so much easier because we were on the play. If we were on the draw, it, was gonna, it would have been really close, but us being on the play, it wasn't close at all. Who's on the play, who's on the draw is just kind of who win, wins those. With us not having Deafening Clarion. You know, like, we need Deafening Clarion to steal the steal the play. We didn't have Deafening Clarion. Alright, new game. Whoops. Meant to play Sacred Foundry. And I thought I was playing it, but it just kind of lagged over to the planes. Looks like it doesn't matter. Yeah, our deck's certainly a lot better than Turbo Fog against Mono Red. So we have we have a pretty good sideboard plan with those those angels. That we need a fourth Deafening Clarion in the sideboard though. That that one um, that one ruinous blast in our sideboard needs to be another Deafening Clarion, and that would help out a good amount too.
All right, so we're playing against Demir, which is perhaps our toughest matchup. So we want our negates and extra expansions in. Um, what combination of sealaways and cleansing novas do I want to take out? Maybe just all the Novas. Novas destroying enchantments can be really good against Amir if they're playing Eldest Reborns, Disinformation Campaigns, Search for Escanta, all that kind of stuff. Um, I think I'll keep in two Novas, and I think I'm going to put the Blast in for this matchup, because of all that stuff. We'll see. It's very possible those three cards should just be Sealaways. The two Cleansing Novas and the Urza's Ruinous Blast, that is. I don't like how you guys refer to Dex as Cancer. I don't like that at all. That's definitely a new thing. I haven't really heard that with with, like, in the magic community before. It's like a new thing with Arena. Hey, nerd girl. That's the, that's the card that's the reason to play Seal Away. For sure. So hopefully Teferi can resolve and tuck the Thief of Sanity, which it looks like it's going to. Very nice, very nice. Um, I could tick up here to help protect, no longer stand you know, be able to have negate to help protect Teferi, but think. then they get to hit me with Thief of Sanity again. I think it's certainly worth it. Ugh. Worst case scenario was if they hit the land drop and then had... Hey, we are very lucky. If they hit the land drop and then had Contempt. In that scenario, I would have wanted to have Negate available, what? but... I'm not done we yet. found another Teferi. Very lucky of us. Okay. That's perfectly fine. We got Temporal Sundering for that. Keep up the pace! Can I play Jaya and Temporal Sundering? No, I'm one mana short. Let's see. I think I want... We have a lot of blue sources out already. Let's go ahead and just play a, a Foundry. So no, no surveilling for the opponent. Hurry! We found another temporal sundering with Kajaya, and then play that. We did not. Let's discovery first, because discovery we find a extra turn spell. We can use that again. Okay, we did not, but I'm gonna keep. Keeping Discovery, and I'll just get rid of Karn. We got a Karn. Stand 
stand back. Do you doubt a master's strategy? Hmm. I'll just wait till next turn and discard this cliff top retreat. Um. Hmm. Hey, Zerf. Sunday's going good. Going good. Uh. What do we want to do here? Do I tuck Thief of Sanity with Teferi? I guess I'm playing Karn. I advise that you yield. Well chosen. So I think my I think I am gonna just tuck it with the fairy. Okay. Going to game three. And they're playing the Thief of Sandies. Let's get Sealaways in here. Um yeah, let's just go let's go four seal away. And that means I'm taking out an expansion. Nah. What would I take out then? I guess I'm only playing three seal away. I should probably be playing four seal away. Probably just need that removal. Um I'll take out a discovery. Yeah. Yeah, we'll take a discovery out. Okay, let's see. Let's see how we do, how it does here. All right, one and one. We got to get this to keep going. Hmm. Well, game one was a mold of five, and no more than two lands. Yeah, we never got a third land. We had to just we would have just had to go to discard. Our opponent was playing Doom Whisper and we still had two lands. That was game one. Game three is looking the same. Yeah, we're I guess a twenty-five land deck. I got twenty-five lands here, but yeah, it's pretty rough. And then, of course, five card hands against disinformation campaign. Terrible spot to be. So we're in a terrible spot here. I do not feel pain. All right, we got the seal away for that. No real rank. I'll be streaming the next three days, like normal. I won't be on the 16th. And then uh, the 17th, I'll be doing a 12-hour stream from 11 to 11 Eastern, playing Sealed of Ravnica Allegiance. That's assuming that it's up, on ele it's up at 11 a.m. I don't actually know if it is or not. I can't find anywhere on the internet where it says the time that Sealed will be live, if anybody can find any announcement like that. Hmm. 
Okay, so we should be able to transform the Escanta next turn, which is good. Well, now we have to surveil a card in our into our graveyard to be able to transform Escanta. That's a good one to do it. And that's a good card to draw, where we can cast that and activate Escanta. That's good. Well, so much for that. I went ahead and took... Went ahead and uh, took enough damage there. Took the damage and went to end step in case we found another like seal away or something. If you know, if I activate Escanta during the main phase, they could have another discard spell kind of thing. This is hold that thought. Well, Teferi resolved. It's looking real good for us. How do you think it will be... How long do you think it will be until you get back to Constructed after the new set? Um, Enough! I, I mean, I don't know. Not, not, I'm not planning on it being super long or anything, but, you know, I'll have to... I'll have to build up my collection, and that'll take time. I don't have, like, you know, just lots of money just to go buy tons of packs in Arena. And get all the standard cards right away. So it'll take some time, but I don't, I don't know how long. No time for a break. Alright, so yeah, we're casting Nexus first before we draw. So we can potentially draw another one. Um... Keep up the pace. Cool. Thanks, Peaceful. So yeah, just gonna go ahead and go with the discover here. Uh, we're certainly looking for more extra turn things. So expansion. Are you Expansion's really nice with Jaya Ballard. Or Explosion is, I mean. Alright, and I expect that we're going to take all the, the turns from here on out, honestly. If they don't have a counter spell, they may have just drawn a counter spell off like that campaign, of course. But they don't have a counter spell. I'm expecting to take hey, that was uncalled for. the rest of the turns. I mean, our opponents already played some counter spells. They've had. This is game three. We saw more of the other game too. Hmm. Well, oh, I should have just waited. I should have just waited. Okay. How many cards do we have left in our library? 32? Let's skip to the good So 33 part. at the beginning. I could certainly see this working. Um, I 
Yeah, I have not added mana yet, so we'll add add three mana. Want to see what a master is capable of? Yeah, so we should have the rest of the turns now. Yeah, our opponent's not gonna get another turn. So we're gonna be two and one. You know what? I'm not done yet. We'll just discard oh, yes. our hands. This will do draw three more. Jaya can just, you know, really rummage so quickly to find new cards. I mean, I guess it's... Whew, we came pretty close there to not finding an extra turn spell. Um, yeah, I'll just play this land. We came real close there. But between... We're drawing five cards, or like we see the first card with Search for Iskanta, and then we draw a card, and then we draw another card with Teferi, so that's three we cards. Need to move quickly. And then Jaya loots, filters away three more cards, Let's so that's six cards. Good. And then we get to see three cards, or then we get to see four cards with Iskanta. So we get to see ten cards every turn. And there's four Nexa Fates in our deck, and we have 18 cards now in our library. Like we just, we're just taking the rest of the turns. All right, do we have Karns left in our deck? How many, how many Karns have we gone through? Three? There's still one left in the deck? Hurry! Oh yeah, ne Nexus plus the fairy was a mistake. Definitely. I don't want to ult Jaya yet. I want to cast these explosions first and then ult Jaya. But yeah, like the the explosions can just deal 27 to our opponent. Like that's all they're going to do eventually. All right, we got there on that mold of 5. It was looking pretty sketchy for us. Um, but we resolved it to fairy. And kept on going from there. But yeah, that's what we we're gonna do. We we're gonna like cast explosion targeting them, explosion targeting them, ult Jaya, explosion targeting them, explosion targeting them, and so on. We ulted Jaya a few times the last time we played this game, or played this deck. Sorry, uh, but yeah, we didn't get to, didn't get to there. We can certainly keep that. I like having lots of lands. Okay, Selesnia Angels is up on YouTube. If you're not following me on YouTube, I'd really appreciate it if you head on over there to youtube.com slash C slash Todd Stevens MTG and follow follow me there. I need a thousand followers on YouTube to get partnered and we're at almost 600. Hey, Cthulhu. So we're getting there.
I don't understand how you can reveal Nexus of Fate when you cast it. Uh, you, so you do not reveal Nexus of Fate when you cast it. First. Yeah, so when it says when it says reveal Nexus of Fate, that's after it resolves. Um, Nexus of Fate, whenever, because after it resolves, it goes to your graveyard, and instead of putting it into your graveyard, you reveal it and put it into your, and you shuffle it into your library. So that's actually what's going on there is you're you're revealing it and shuffling it into your library. You're not revealing it uh, when you cast it, kind of thing. So that's that's what's going on there. You reveal the same copy, yes. Yes. So you you play the spell like you know in in paper you don't actually do like the revealing thing, but that's just like how it's worded and so like what happens here. Um, but what hap what's happening is you're you're casting the spell it resolves instead of going to the graveyard you're revealing that same copy and then shuffling it and you're saying hey i'm taking this copy that i just played and shuffling it into the library that's what you're doing so i guess i guess that's why they gave us the seal away cuz they wanted to conclave tribunal this card and they didn't want me to have another one i suppose but now we get to play to fairy tick up and have seal away available which is quite nice. And we drew another Karn. Yeah, very glad they gave us the seal away. I'm known for my Let's skip to the good part. They could of course just have another Conclave Tribunal for this Teferi. I would be sad. Nice. Thanks, Pusa. So six six oh one, so we are um We are getting there. So we're 60% of the way there. Alright, I'm not playing the seal away now because I'm going to Cleansing Nova and destroy all enchantments. Get my Teferi and Karn back. We need to move quickly. Alright. There we go. Yeah, very glad they gave us that seal away. So I think we're going to kind of sideboard this just like it was. Um... Just like it was against red, except for I'm going to put a, a blast also, because that, that'll get rid of all their enchantments. Oh, we'll get rid of my enchantments, too. Hmm. All right, maybe we're not blasting. We'll play the, we'll play the Novas. Which means if we're playing Novas, we got to trim a Karn and trim... We'll just play two Novas, because we got all these other creatures. Two Nova. Okay. Yeah, that's... Jeskai... Yeah. Jeskai... When Jeskai wins, it wins... Yeah, wins by miles, because... You know, it... So, when you play decks like Jeskai, when you play, like, these kind of control decks, when you're winning, you're winning for a very long time. So, it, it kind of feels good to play these kind of decks, because you get to be in the winning position for a, a really long time. And the games you lose, you lose quickly. And then um, so you're, you're, you don't feel like you're losing for too long kind of thing. Ooh. Clarion is pretty great for us. I don't want another Shalai. Or do I? Do I want another Shalai? They have a tribunal for the first, we play a second kind of thing. Yeah, maybe I just want another Shalai. Problem is we're gonna have to shock with the 
these lands. I would only trade with just the night token. Oh gosh. Never mind, I should have ditched it. Need another sweeper. That's not another sweeper. Kinda didn't really consider history banalia when I was sideboarding too much. Certainly need all the cleansing novas in for these history banalias. What's the flavor on Hunted Witness? I'm not sure if Thunder Witness has flavor, honestly. I don't think it does. Oh, it does. He ferried weapons, spells, exotic animals, but his most dangerous cargo was the truth. Alright, down to five. like great options here I could you know to playing to fairy minus things a little safer not like a lot safer but then to fairy is certainly dead if we do that all right we'll tick up Look for some kind of sweeper. And we'll try again. No, I don't have any settles in the sideboard. You may regret that choice. One, two, three, four, five, six. So I can, yeah, I can still cast Temporal Sundering and Discovery. Take an extra turn, bounce a token. Hmm. I guess I'm gonna just rely on Dawnbringer, right? I think that's that's the best option. All right, Tom Ringer. This will aid us. Got to win this game for me. Can you do it? Yeah, we got. Okay. We still got this so far. What is this attack? Why would they make that attack? This has first strike. You just, I got just got to gain two life, and you sacrifice a creature. Oh well, now you're dead. Now you're dead, opponent. The choices we make reveal who we are. Corner turned. Um. I don't get to play Teferi also. Right on. Teferi is the is the last draw though, but yeah, we'd be able to minus, get Shalai back, put Shalai into play, 
if Teferi didn't hit anything. We're going to try to see if we draw something with Teferi there. But yeah, it looks like looks like even if they don't make that attack, they're just they're they're gonna die there even if they don't make that attack because we drew the temporal centering. So even without that attack, didn't really matter. Game ends right on schedule. Alright, three and one. No, we're opening the packs if we if we get five wins. The reward for getting for getting five win is getting packs. We're on the draw. I'm gonna keep this. All right, we just gotta draw a white source, and then we're we'll be doing fine. Three, then four, and Karn always hits, helps you hit other lands into these. We need to draw two lands, and one of them a white source. Not a white. We don't need a white card. We need a white source. Hey, Kalua King. I wanted to craft Vivians, and, and I drew two Vivians today from a pack and an event rewards. Hey, way to go! That is awesome. Alright, we got the white source. Very good. I'm playing the island here to incentivize my opponent to furthermore put another creature on the battlefield. Alright, we need another land though. One more land. Uh, it's not a land. We need one more land for this Karn. And then we can start going from there. But we definitely need another land. Okay. Let's go. I will fight with honor. Glad we ticked up. No lands there. We do need a land for this cleansing nova. We're going down to five. Going down to one. A shock land. Good choice. <laughs> I guess I have to use a shock land. That's ridiculous. I don't see how we're not gonna die here. Yep, just a little firebrand. Uh it's so hard to win these games on the draw. It's so much easier on the play. You know, if we are just like a turn ahead on all that stuff, it would have been so much easier. Being on the draw, though. All right, let's, let's do our same sideboard. Um, Jaya, Nova, coming on out. Expansion out. Search out. Two negates in. One car now, and let's go with that. I could have just made a token with Karn and chump the chain whirler. Um, I don't know. We would not have been getting lands though. Alright, looking for Deafening Clarion with this discovery. That's good, we get to get rid of two lands. It's good discovery. Yeah, it's good discovery. Yeah, expansion can definitely copy the red spells as removal. So if they have a creature out and they use a burn spell on me and I have the two mana to copy that burn spell and then... Uh, kill their creature, 
and like do that and they're doing that like before attackers or something I mean yeah like that's it's certainly certainly good there it's just not super likely to happen I, I just want more reliable cards yeah Zorb's gonna be a nifty card for sure well or boss is scary I battle for the forces of good. Double war boss. Can I draw a deafening clarion? Can we draw that, please? They're attacking Karn. Alright, they do have lethal on Karn. Yeah, because this is six here. Because of the second war boss. Whenever I play Karn, it was only five because they only had the one, but the second one makes it six. Alright, where's the where's the deafening Clarion? That's not Clarion, but I don't think I can just give up Dawnbringer. I think I just kinda have to take that. Because if I if I get to untap with Dawnbringer, I certainly win. But I was playing a mono blue mill deck, and I had four Legion War bosses played against me, and they were all alive at the same time. Whoa! I guess this is just this is like enough for actually no keeping that Dawnbringer was just wrong, honestly. Cause yeah, just whatever I block, they just they just shoot and I'm dead. I'm just dead anyway. I should not have kept that Dawnbringer. Yeah, keeping that Dawnbringer was just a mistake by me. Yeah, this is this is just a, a really bad mistake. I don't know what the next card is. I don't know if the next one would have been a Definite Clarion. So like we wouldn't have kept, we wouldn't have drawn Dawnbringer. We would have drawn Teferi, and then this turn we would have had whatever the other card is. But yeah, this Dawnbringer is gonna do nothing. Yeah, like I mean, I'm I'm just taking lethal no matter what if I just play Dawnbringer, um, and I don't I don't have an out now. Even if my opponent had no removal, I was just taking enough. Those war bosses just kill me so quickly. So. Yeah, I need a Clarion. All right, so let's get our rewards first. So we got th win three two. All right, we got two rares. Conqueror's Galleon and Repeating Barrage. A couple Ixalan rares there. We didn't need more Squee. All right, so next time with this deck, get another Clarion in the sideboard. We need a fourth one of these in the sideboard, and this blast does not need to be in there. So that was a mistake. Uh, that should be able to help there. So we lost to the two red decks, um, but yeah. So that's that's certainly an, an upgrade there, and that that should be able to help out. Um, yeah, that that should be a big upgrade there, getting a fourth Clarion in in the deck because that was just such an important card. All right. So if you're watching this on YouTube, make sure if you want to play this deck, make that little change there. But I like where this deck's at overall. I think it's, I do think it's a uh, pretty good, and it's it's a lot of fun. And I think playing temporal sunderings along with Nexus of Fate makes it more fun, and you get Jaya Ballard than like other extra turn decks. So there we go. Um, so if you're watching on YouTube, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. And thank you for watching, and I'll see you at the next video.